Hey, welcome to the final part of the restaurant scene. In this video, at first, we are going to talk about three point lighting, and after that, we will add lights to scene and we will render it. Welcome to the Atria Graphics channel. In this channel, we are going to teach you a series of softwares. Just hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for getting a notification when we upload a video. And leave a comment if you have any questions. So, let's begin. Lights are the important parts of the rendering scene. With a great lighting, you can make emotion you want to the viewer. With good lighting, you can make a great render from treble model or you can make trouble render from a good model, but it needs practice just like everything. At first, let's talk about very common technique of lighting, three-point lighting. Three-point lighting is very important lighting technique that is using in the photography or shooting a music video or movie. And it's telling we have to use three lights for creating a nice scene and they have called these three lights key light, fill light and hair light and we want to explain them now and use them in blender in the rest of this video so let's begin Hair light is the light back of the object and it's kind of separating the object from the background and getting the focus of the viewer to the object and we can put the hair light on the back and top of the object. Key light is the strongest and most important light in the scene and you can see kind of shadows here on the object. And sometimes we need these shadows. But if we want to fill them, we need fill light. And it's weaker than key light or has more distance from the subject than key light. So this is the hair light. And it's the strongest light top and back of the object. It's separating the object from the background. Key light is the most important and powerful light in the scene. It's side of the object and fill light is an other side of the object. And fill light is the weakest light in the scene. And it's filling key light shadows on the object. Now look at these three renders. This one is without hair light and this one with hair light. You can see the brightness here. This one is without fill light and this is with fill light. You can see the shadows here. And this is the final result of three lights. So let's begin lighting the scene. Now in this part of the video, uh, we are going to add lights to the scene. So uh, first of all, we will add a camera and camera here, GZ. So we want the camera look on the scene in this view so we will hit ctrl alt 0 and the camera will appear here but we don't want to perspective type of the camera we want the autographic and uh, we change the zoom kind of a scale of the camera and this is going to be our camera view so we will do this and we select the camera sorry 
چیزی and gx maybe and gz again I think maybe we can uh, change the size of the camera or the gz this is good and we select this I think it's okay but maybe we can zoom in a little for and have it cheesy okay this is good and now we are going to add this lamp to the view so we g use g and scale it a little so this is good and this one here these are our two lights two lamps and we will add lights in them and now we have to add 3.3 light for the view so we make shift a the area light gz and we will scale it and gz art for rotating before that we are going to rotate it along 3d cursor so we choose 3d cursor here and r x 45 and rz 45 minus and we can move it up with gz and maybe we can rotate it like this and uh, we press shift d rz 90 degrees or 150 degrees and we use R Y forty five and R Z. Okay, we move it a little along the G along the X and Y axis and shift the R Z and this is another light for the C and uh, this light is going to became 200 volt what and this is going to be 500 we display discuss and we explain it in the first of the video why we doing that we have to add three lights uh, one uh, blue color and right in the uh, f uh, kind of across the color ramp another color uh, across the blue color and it's yellow and kind of it's the main color and these colors are for the shadow of this color and we change the world light to zero we don't want extra light and we select this object two for edge select mode we will select this loop shift s cursor to select it and this is the the cursor is the middle of the uh, this lamp and we will add a point light to the scene and we make it blue and i think 200 is good for this light and we will add the same light with shift d and shift z for moving it along the x and y axis for this one and that's okay now it's finished oh before that 
uh, we will add a emission shader for the back of the windows so we are going to here and we will change the uh, materials to the emission material and 20 is good for the windows and after that we can add the image here so so i will choose this photo for the image on the here so we go to we add a new shader here new material and in the shading part we will add it Control c here and base color okay and we hit Control t now we can go to edit mode Control e and mark seam okay so we want to choose this part and a new material for it and what was it this one we will assign it to that and we can copy it and rotate it and scale it for better size of the picture scene 3 is not good to and rotate it along the z-axis 118 degrees and it's okay sorry my computer crashed and uh, because i didn't use this control s for saving uh, i had to uh, make all the textures and materials again and i add lights to the scene and I use a new material, new texture for uh, this clothes here and uh, you can find it here, it's fabric uh, 037 and I add three lights and I add a world light and I make it uh, white and one is strange for it and I added a light here, a point light and so for rendering we can uh, choose the cycle engine for rendering the scene and we can put this number and 4000 for rendering and uh, before the rendering you can come to the compositing part because when you render this photo it has a noise all over it so we will add a denoise here with shift a and we put it right there and I think the scene is ready and we will press F12 for rendering the scene okay this was the final video and final result of the restaurant scene I hope this playlist was helpful for you. Tell in the comments how you would think about this playlist and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get a notification when we upload a video. Have a nice modeling and great day. Goodbye.